Welcome back. They were playing this game called Enchanted Cupcake Party by Wonder Forge. It is for two to five players, ages three and up. The maker of the game describes the game like this. You're invited to a cupcake party with all the Disney princesses. Collect the ingredients on the cupcake recipe cards and make as many cupcakes as you can. When the clock strikes, count up your cupcakes. It's time for the party. The game takes about 10 minutes to play, but the game can vary quite a bit depending on what tiles players pick during the game. The object of the game is to complete as many of your recipes as you can before it's time for the cupcake party. The player with the most cupcakes wins. The game comes with 40 cupcake parts that combine to make 10 different cupcakes that are shown on the 10 recipe cards. The cards are all different and they have two sides, pink and purple. It doesn't matter which side you're playing as long as all players use the same color. There are also 15 game tiles. Most of the tiles have cupcake parts on them. There's also one pick any piece, kind of like a wild. There are four clock tiles. Those can end the game. And there are two mix it up pieces that can uh, prolong the game. To start the game, first divide up all of the recipe cards evenly between all the players. Any extras can be removed from the game. For this video, we will just play with two recipes. Mix the tiles up and place them upside down within reach of all players. Once the tiles are all laid out, we lay out all of the cupcake pieces within reach of all players. The person with the next birthday goes first and flips over any tile. If that tile is a cupcake piece, the player selects that type of piece from their recipe that matches and their turn is over. The next player goes. If they select a tile that is a pick any piece, they can pick any part on any of their recipes and their turn is over. If the tile that is flipped is a clock piece, that piece is put to the side. More clocks are added as they are flipped over. If all four clocks are flipped over, the game is over and the winner is the player with the most completed cupcakes. If the tile that is flipped over is a mix it up tile, then all the tiles that are flipped face up are turned back upside down, including any clock tiles and everything is mixed up and play starts again. Now Jessica and I are going to play the game. My first piece is a cake. So I'm going to take a cake piece that matches my recipe. Your turn, Jessica. I got a clock. Uh-oh, three more of those and the game's over. Put that to the side. My next piece is a cake. So I'm going to take the other cake piece for my recipe. Jessica's turn. I got a frosting. I'm going to take the frosting for this recipe. Oh, I got to mix it up. So we take all the tiles and mix them back up. All right, they're all mixed up and ready to go. Jessica, it's your turn. I got a wrapper. I'm going to pick the wrapper for this one. I got a clock. Three more of those and the game's over. Your turn. I got a cake. I'm going to pick the cake that goes with this one. And then I only need one more and then I'm finishing my cupcake. Yeah, you're going to get a topper soon. Oh, another clock. Two clocks now. Your turn, Jessica. A frosting. I already have my frosting for this for this for this one. So I have to pick my the frosting for the other one. Cake. I already have two cakes. Pick any piece. Oh, the wild. That's the best one. So what are you going to pick? Topper. Good. And I have a 
completed cupcake. All right. Mm -hmm. So you can add that, leave it here on top of this recipe. The game will continue just like this until one of two things happens. If a play player completes all their cupcakes, then they're the winner. If four clocks are picked and, uh, and that completes all the four clocks, then the game ends and the player with the most cupcakes wins. Thanks for playing, Jessica. You're welcome. We found that playing with just two recipe cards was the best to make sure the game does not take too long. Sometimes, once all the players have picked all of a certain cupcake piece, like all the cakes are out, we would just take that tile out of the game so nobody could pick it anymore and it would just speed up the game. When my kids were really young, we actually only played with one mix it up tile and three clocks. So we took away one mix it up and one clock to uh, again, speed things up and make sure that my kids were always flipping over tiles and, and building onto their cupcakes. As they got older though, we added those tiles back into the game. On a scale of one to five cupcakes, I would give this game five full cupcakes. My kids started playing this game at a really young age. My youngest played before she was even three years old. It was really easy to learn and promotes matching and pattern recognition. It's a lot of fun. No player is ever really out of the game. We had a lot of long shot comebacks where the player who was in last place got a lot of tiles in a row they needed and won the game. Hope you enjoyed this review and learned how to play this game. Be sure to subscribe to see more family fun games and activities.